Yo, what up everybody? It's 2017 WWE Undisputed Wrestling. Very rarely do we open this stuff up, but we do have it. Uh, I am a big wrestling fan, so I'm kind of curious to see what comes out of here. Let's find out. Alright, so here's the box. Um... Wait, so Duke Johnson is going to Miami? Is he really? So it says eight guaranteed autos or relics. Huh, and there's ten hits per box. Okay, let's see what we got. Good luck, JSM. And, uh, of course, not just for me. Yo. Yo. Good luck, dude. Good luck, Mike. I mean, good luck, JSM. Good luck, JSM. All right, cool. Now, this is the orphan that we were talking about, JSM. A Lucy Goosey box I had. And I hope there's something sick in here. Like an Undertaker autograph would be insane. Let's see what we got. Never seen this stuff before. It feels it feels good. It feels nice. Roman Reigns. Fucking hate this guy. This guy fucking sucks. The 25. That I guess that's a rookie card. Uh, he is on the NXT roster, I think. Uh, Rich Swan. That's kind of cool. Congratulations in Austin Aries. It's on card autograph too. That's kind of cool. Number to 199. Now, this dude, I don't think he's even with the company anymore. I think they uh, they let him go. Oh, I love Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss autograph would be insane. I love that chick. Like legitimately, like I'm in love with her. Oh, uh, Neville, another dude that left the company. Yeah, Roman Reigns, I don't know if he's an asshole. He's probably like a cool dude. But I just don't like his character. I don't like his personality. He can't, he can't fucking shoot a promo to save his life. And as a wrestler, he's not even a good wrestler either. He fucking sucks as a wrestler. Now, this guy, Dolph Ziggler, he's actually pretty good. Uh, don't really know what the company's doing with him right now. With him right now, but I, I like his gimmick. Uh, Roderick Strong. That's an NXT dude again. I, I, that guy, I don't know. I don't watch NXT. Bray Wyatt to 99 on card. That's actually kind of cool. That is very cool. Oh my god. The legendary Ric Flair. Woo! Is there a cooler human being on the planet than Ric Flair? I mean, I don't think so. Guy is the man. And Chris Jericho, who's also pretty cool in his, in his own right. His match over in, uh, even though we're doing a WWE break, I want to talk about New Japan. He did have a, a match with, what's his name? Kenny Omega over in New Japan. They had a really good match. I think it was like a five-star rated match. That's how they do their, their their ratings out there in Japan, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, Chad Gable, he's on the the SmackDown roster. Big Cass, this dude is actually injured right now. This is number to ninety nine, and he's no longer doing the the tag team with that dude, um, Enzo Amore, who actually got fired for being a creep. What do we have here? Got a relic for my long lost cousin, Samoa Joe. No more to 199. You know, I got a couple friends that watch wrestling, so that's that's me. That's who I am. I don't see it though. But whatever. Carl uh, Anderson, John. I fucking hate John Cena. Uh, it's gonna take place after this. Uh, Ray. I'm doing a, doing a quick personal box for a friend of mine. 
And then we're going to go ahead and do the Donruss eBay break. So you didn't miss it. It's all good, Ray. Uh, One Lorgan, NXT, Daniel Bryan. There's a general manager right now. I think this dude also got fired. Numbered to 50, James Ellsworth. He's not even a wrestler. The guy's fucking garbage. Old school right here. This, I can't believe this dude's still wrestling. Number to 199 on card. Rhino. ECW legend right here. Hardcore legend. This guy should probably be a, a bigger name than he really is. He was the man in ECW. And the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. One of the greatest gimmicks right there. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Too much swag. Too much swag. What else we got? Shane McMahon, who's actually pretty badass in the ring. Some of his matches are ridiculous. Uh, I love this woman, Alexa Bliss. Like, legitimately, I'm in love with her. Like, she's super adorable. Like, I'm, I would legitimately propose to this woman. And then get divorced, and she could take all my shit. No problem. A Randy Orton patch to 199. The Viper. This guy should probably also be a bigger name than he really is. I don't know what the company's doing. Dude, Chris Fitz, you have no idea. Stay off my woman. Don't talk about my woman like that. Jason Jordan, who's, I think, injured right now. They're doing the whole, oh, that's Kurt Angle's kid bit or whatever. That's kind of whatever. Bret the Hitman Hart and Edge. That would actually be kind of a cool dream match. Bray Wyatt hit that auto earlier. And Naomi, who's uh, pretty hot in her own right, and she got that badonka donk. What is this right here? Uh, got a Zack Ryder. 9 out of 10. That's kind of cool. Again, not, not really a big name, and it's a sticker auto, so there's that. But uh, there you go. Oh, Chris Fitz, show me that face, and it might happen, dog. Triple H and uh, William Regal. Triple H is actually going to wrestle at WrestleMania. It's going to be a tag team of... Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, uh, who's his actual wife in real life, going up against Kurt Angle and, and Ronda Rousey. That should be uh, interesting. Asuka, who's a new superstar, made it to the main roster. She's on Raw, and she's fucking badass. Oh, and this chick is super hot, too. 1099, Maurice. This is the wife of The Miz. And she is so gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. Man, I'm going to have to put these pictures up on the on the, on the, on the website, man. People are going to be like, what? Y'all do wrestling too? Hell yeah. It's, it's not a sport. It's sports entertainment. Seth Rollins. That guy's badass. Dana Brooke. She's gorgeous. That's all I got to say about that. Well, because AJ Styles is honestly one of the best wrestlers in in the business. Uh, AJ Styles is beyond badass. And they don't even let him use, like, half the moves that he used to do when he was, like, on TNA. Like, dude, AJ Styles is a beast. Uh, Luke Harper. Shane Thorne. I don't even know who that is. Eric Young. To 50, okay, uh, some dude, I don't know that guy either. He's an NXT dude. I don't watch NXT. NXT is like the the minors, I guess, if I was to put it in sports context, as far as baseball's concerned. You know, he would be in the minors, whereas, you know, Raw SmackDown would be the majors, to, to kind of give you an idea. That is the, the, dev, the de developmental stage of the WWE, the NXT issue there. Big Cass, Austin Aries. 
Yeah, you know, with AJ Styles, he would probably be more badass if he got rid of the soccer mom haircut. But the guy is the shit. Sting! That's one, that's one of my all-time favorite wrestlers right there, too. Oh, man. Shawn, McMich Shawn Michaels? Shawn McMichaels. Shawn Michaels and Eddie Guerrero. That would be a dream match for sure. That'd be pretty dope. All right, Peter, my boy, Eddie Guerrero, man. I'm not going to lie, dude. When he passed away, I cried like a baby, bro. And then short, I think, and then shortly thereafter, or before he passed away, Benoit passed away. But we're not going to talk about Benoit because that was a fucked up. So that was disgusting. What he what he did. But then again, we don't know what really happened there. So that's all I'm going to say about that. What do we got here? Fandango <laughs> number ninety nine out of ninety nine. Uh, the patch auto. This one's actually kind of funny. Fandango. This guy is like. He has like a little funny bit that he's doing with his with this other dude, uh, this other guy. He's like a tag team. They're like part of the fashion police. They have like hilarious skits on SmackDown, but that's about it. He can wrestle a little bit, but you know his character is pretty much comedic relief. And last pack mojo here. Yeah, dude, Chris fucking lost it. He yeah, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, that was. Super fucking sad situation there. Andre the Giant. Now, I don't know if I would consider this a dream match, really. Because I fucking hate John Cena. But Stone Cold Steve Austin against pretty much anybody would be a dream match. One of the greatest characters of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the guy seems like a genuinely cool dude, too. Like, I, could, I would want to have some beers with Stone Cold. And, you know, if shit ever hits the fan, I would want Stone Cold by my side. By the way, don't ever take a beer from Stone Cold. Especially if you're in the ring, because you're probably going to get a Stone Cold stunner. And he's going to flip you the bird. So there's that. Uh, Darren Young, the relic card bronze parallel. Darren Young, I don't know who that is. I want to say that's probably an NXT kid. That's probably why I don't know him. Because I do watch... Uh, Raw and SmackDown. I'm pretty familiar with the roster, but NXT not so much. And that's the break. So some cool stuff, man. I've never seen this product before. So some really nice stuff. Uh, the Bray Wyatt is probably the sickest one. Um, Maurice is fucking just gorgeous. So we have Fandango, which is kind of cool. Eric Young, yeah. Zack Ryder. Yeah. Austin Aries. Now, he could wrestle his ass off. It's a shame they, you know, they let him go. Uh, Rhino. Hardcore legend right there. ECW legend. That's pretty badass. Maurice. She's just, she's just gorgeous. And Bray Wyatt. So, that's awesome. So, I think I'm going to take a picture of Maurice. And she's going to lead us, lead us off. And then I'm going to go with uh, Bray and then Rhino, top, you know, ending things. But I'm definitely going to take pictures of this stuff. That was cool as hell. And that was the break. 2017 WWE Undisputed Personal Box. And that's headed your way, JSM. I hope you liked it, dude. Thank you for that, man. We'll get that out to you.